let's talk and let's present why two events two angles in Italy. Uh, I just recommend that to use uh, the letters on the keyboard ASD key W E to move the avatar and to jump here uh, uh, in the in the area of the tribune. Um, could you use the tasty ASD QVWS la tastiera per muovervi con i vostri con i vostri avatar. Okay, let's go. So reasons for a property in Italy. Whenever you look for a sea, mountains, lake, city, or countryside view, Italy offers any scenario you wish. In addition to the most renowned art cities, the normal you know, Milan, Rome, Florence, Venice, some of the most recognized luxury destinations in the world are in Italy, such as Como Lake, Tuscany, Cortina, and Sardinia. If that wasn't enough, Italy, as you know, hosts uh, 55 UNESCO protected sites. So Italy is the richest cultural heritage in the world. If it's not enough, uh, Italy enjoys an average of from 2,400 up to 3,000 hours of sunshine each year, comparing the half that are in Central Europe. So you can take advantage uh, of the beautiful landscapes all the time during the, the year, for all the seasons. Seven great reasons to move to Italy. Sun and climate. So we have more than 300 days of sunshine in year. Food and wine. Uh, we have the food and wine eater that uh, is, in our opinion, the best ones in the world. Uh, and the quality life. Uh, George Clue said that uh, I, was, I was always rushing and I learned to slow down, observing them, so the Italians, after a day of work, getting around the table, a good wine, chatting, friends, they are people who enjoy life, know how to celebrate this life and how to celebrate it. So, uh, absolutely quality of life that is in Italy thanks uh, to all the history that uh, we have uh, uh, from the past uh, and especially for the nature, nature that we have. Health. Uh, uh, in 2018, Bloomberg listed Italy as the fourth nation in the world for modernity of its hospital. Cost of living. Italy is, uh, most of parts of Italy is cheaper than the other countries in Europe, so respect United Kingdom, France, Sweden, and so on. And especially doors to the world, uh, we have 126 airports, 30 of which are international. So it's extremely easy to reach any destination from and in Italy, wherever you are, and low cost of uh, uh, real estate. So uh, after the real estate crisis, the value of the residential market started to recover only after 2016, okay? And for this reason, it's easy to find unmissable opportunities, especially in countryside town on uh, uh, seaside resorts. Let's talk about the numbers about, about Italy. So this is the average value of request properties from foreign country, foreign clients. So as you see, around 80% of the clients are asking properties up to 500,000 euro. And 20% of the requests are over, so from 500,000 euro and over 1 million and so on. And you see that is almost split in three parts exactly, almost 30% up to 100,000 euro, uh, up to 250, and around 20% uh, from 250 to 500. So it's very important this to understand even the clients that are looking for, for foreign countries. This is a, a chart where uh, we're talking about foreign countries, foreign clients that are buying in Italy. It's very important this to understand which kind of clients uh, are coming and which properties are looking for in, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, um, uh, um, uh, prices. So let's talk now the, the last data, data that we have year to year uh, from June to August 2022. So uh, requests from France on the listing portal gateway that is international listing portal 
From France, we had plus 32 percent respect to last year. From USA, plus 16 or almost 17 percent. From Germany, almost 13 percent plus respect to one year ago and plus 8 percent, more than 8 percent from UK. So at the moment, these are the four top countries that are requesting Italy. It's very important this to understand, even for Italian, Italian uh, um, brokers, agents, where to focus even the, the advertising. Let's talk now about the top regions. Top regions are basically uh, always the same. So Tuscany, plus 19% uh, respect one year ago. Lombardia, the, normally Lombardia, where is Milan, Como, and so on. So where are the lakes of the north? We have plus 11. Puglia, plus 8.2. Sisi, plus 7. And uh, plus 7 even for Sardinia. So this is the top regions requesting during the last summer that we just uh, uh, finished. So from June to August 2022. So what they are looking for, which are the most requested properties uh, by foreign uh, customers? I just wanted to tell you that if you want to see better the monitor there, you can click on the monitor behind me and click zoom. So you, you see the chart perfectly. So uh, almost 50% of, uh, of the uh, clients are looking for apartments and flats. Uh, more than 30% are looking for villas, 6% semi-detached villas, then almost 6% commercial, small villas, 4%, industrial, almost 100, 1%, sorry. And let's talk about now, with respect of uh, hypothesis of uh, purchasing a property in Italy, foreign clients, they believe, they believe that they have clear ideas on location or type of investment. And uh, the, we have um, quite 50 percent of clients that want to be guided by an expert. So it's very important this because uh, 50 percent, almost 50 percent of the clients that want to buy in Italy, they need a real estate agent. So they need to, that we follow them, that we give all the informations. They need to be support in in what uh, what they are looking for. So it's very important. Uh, what we do in Italy like real estate agents. We need to support all these people, but even who they have clear ideas and which kind of investment to, to do, of course they need a local, a local broker, a local agent. Let's go. So the main reasons why a foreign customer purchasing Italy. So almost 50% is for holidays. So in a house to come here and have an holiday. So 22% uh, is temporary use due to the job. Uh, almost 18% post-retirement relocation, and, or relocation, sorry, and uh, around 11% for investment. That is very important, even to understand which kind of advertising that normally we have to do in, in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of uh, advertising in local or even international, international web portals. Let's check what, where to invest in, in Italy. So uh, in Italy, we have uh, uh, 7,500 kilometers of sea coast and almost 6,000 kilometers of ski lobs. So uh, really, it's a, it's a country that's interesting for, for every kind of uh, client that want to enjoy the nature. So what we suggest before to have an idea what to invest in Italy is to answer to these uh, four questions. So basically, is what you, I like to do in Italy? How long I will stay in Italy? Which are my passion, my hobbies? And which is my investment target? Why? Because uh, when it's clear what I really want, it's very easy for a real estate agent in Italy to suggest you which is the best location for you. It's important that uh, the investor, the client that comes in Italy, have a clear idea why they want to enjoy this amazing country.